Okay, here we are where an Arabidopsis scientist is going to demonstrate how to perform crosses. And what he's going to do is start with a wild type plant over here, and he's going to grab it with one hand, and then he's going to use a forceps to carefully grab either a cluster of flowers, or in this case I believe he's going to take a single flower, a single flower for crossing. And by grabbing it at the base of the flower, you'll notice the flower kind of opens up a little bit, and that exposes the male part of the flower, the stamens, or the anthers, that have the pollen that will allow for crossing to occur. And he simply takes that flower, that's now in the forceps, over to the recipient. In this case, the recipient is an AP3 mutant, and he will simply touch the male part of the flower, the stamens, or the anther, to the female part of the recipient, the AP3 mutant, and hopefully some of that pollen will land on the carpels or the pistil, and will affect fertilization. We won't know for sure for a few more days when the fruit begins to grow. And that's all you need to do.